Very neat. Who is she? Teresa Barron. That's right, Vince Barron's daughter. She's been in Europe the last few years. She arrived in New York yesterday. She arrives here at 4.15 today by plane. The undercover man got on the plane with her in New York. Headquarters had reserved the seat next to Teresa Barron for me. During the flight, I got acquainted with Teresa. It was hard to believe that she was the daughter of Vince Barron, the beautiful seed of a vicious animal. She was educated, poised, and gentle, a lovely, charming girl. Yet there was something tragic about her, the tragedy of something she had carried since birth, the stigma of her father's name. I thought my father's driver was supposed to meet me. He couldn't make it. Come on, get in. Who are you? We work for your old man. I think I'd better phone home first. We haven't got all day. Get in the car. Something wrong, Miss Barron? I'll say it once. Beat it. No, nothing's wrong. Beat it. You said it twice. You step out of that car and I'll knock you right back in again. Now, if you don't mind traveling by cab... I'll... No, thank you. I'd appreciate it. Terry, it's wonderful to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too, Makino. Terry, baby, is that you? Baby, you look wonderful. Let me look at you. Oh, you're a big girl now. Papa, this is Mr. Randall. We met on the plane. Hi, Randall. How do you do, sir? Uncle Leo's waiting inside to see you. Come on in, Randall. Oh, it's good to have you home. Oh, you look beautiful, baby. Just beautiful. Terry. Uncle Leo, hello. Welcome home. Ah, oh, thank you. Uncle Leo, this is a friend of mine, Mr. Randall. How do you do? Good to know you, son. I'm sorry about the mix-up at the airport. You mean about having two of your hoodlums waiting to meet me? Baby, what are you saying? Don't pretend, Papa. Two of your strong-armed boys were waiting for me. Mr. Randall convinced them they weren't so strong. Baby, I swear it. Tell her, Leo. No, Terry. Your father said tiny, but he got there late. Well, then who were those men? Oh, forget it. Maybe somebody want to play a joke on old Vince. Come on, we open up the wine. Drink a toast to the fine young man who saved my little girl. What do you mean, save, Papa? Uh, your father means saving you from the embarrassment of a practical joke, Terry. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Open up your presents, Terry. The big one. That's a surprise. Well, I'll open it tomorrow. Okay, open it tomorrow. Hey, Leo, put on some music. Some of that fellow went to school with Chopin. Papa, I'm a little tired. Do you mind if I go up to my room? I think I'd better run along, too. I've got a cab waiting and I haven't made any hotel reservations. Hotel? Who needs it? This is a hotel. Twelve bedrooms, twelve bathrooms. Will you stay with us? Thanks, Mr. Barron, but... Oh, don't give me no buts. If you do a big favor for my little girl, the least I can do is show you a little hospitality. You may as well say yes, Steve. Papa always gets what he wants. Well, thanks, Mr. Barron. I'd be delighted to stay. Good. McGino! Yes, Mr. Barron. Take care of that cab outside. Put Mr. Randall's bags upstairs. Put him in a room next to mine. Yes, Mr. Burton. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you at dinner, Steve. I'll be looking forward to it, Terry. You'll get a good rest, baby. Papa, Papa, what is it? I heard shooting. Are you all right? Hi, right, see how my baby worries about me? Sure, I'm all right, baby. Some pig took a shot at me. Might have got me, too, if it wasn't for Steve. Well, first he saves my little girl, then he saves her papa. He's a good boy. Well, have you called the police? Why do I need the police? Well, I'll handle this my own way. Oh, of course, your way. Now you give orders to shoot whoever shot at you. Isn't that the way it works, Papa? I've told you this before, Terry. Those things don't concern you. My business has nothing to do with you. It has a lot to do with me. I have to live with it, too, you know. Decent people don't want me around. I'm a freak because I'm Vince Barron's daughter. Decent people? I could buy and sell any one of those pigs. It's time you had a little respect for your father. Respect? I'm ashamed of the name of Barron. And I'm ashamed of you. Oh, the concert was lovely, Steve. I don't know when I've had such a wonderful evening. I feel the same way, Terry. And thank you again for the violets. I love violets, and I love the music, and, well, I love everything tonight. Is that you, Terry? 
You didn't have to wait up for me, Papa. Well, I wasn't waiting up for you, honey. I just want to talk to Steve. Come on in. What do you want with Steve? Business. He's working for me now. Steve? Yes. So you bought him like all the rest. Don't, Steve, don't, I implore you. Don't let him touch you with his dirty money. Everything he touches turns to filth. Dirty money? It was good enough to send you to the best schools. It was good enough to send you to Europe. It was good enough to buy you anything you ever wanted. Yes, everything. Everything except respectability. You couldn't buy me that, could it, Papa? Don't talk like a child, Terry. You're a big girl now. Everybody's got a little dirt on them. Everybody's out to get all they can get. This world is not the nice place you want to think it is. It's a jungle and we're all a part of the animals. If I believed that, I wouldn't want to live. Let her go, Steve. Yes? Terry, I'd like to talk to you. Come in. I just wanted to say goodbye. Oh, did you ask Papa's permission? I guess I deserve that. No, you don't, Steve. I'm the one who's wrong. I'm a square. You know, I can't even trust my own judgment. I thought you were one of the most decent men I'd ever known. Terry, stay just as you are. Don't ever change. Everything you stand for is right and good. Steve, I don't understand you. Terry, do you mind if I kissed you goodbye? Goodbye, Terry. You make it sound so final. I'll only be gone a few days. Enjoy them. And remember, stay just as you are. <laughs> 